carried into lace track. It would eventually be replaced by a new bridge opened by Jim Callahan in 1976. On the 20th of March 1966, schoolboy Mike Russell organised a memorable tour of Cardiff. The higher charge was £5.2 two shillings, the fare seven shillings. Lasting for some five hours, 222 covered existing routes as well as miles of dormant wiring. For example, several trips were made across Clarence Bridge, which had not seen a trolley bus for over three months. On one journey, the 1948 BUT became the last trolley bus to peer ahead when it cautiously negotiated the one-way terminal loop. From now on, no more trolleys would venture into Tiger Bay. Evelyn Street. The centre span of this bridge could swing through 90 degrees, a job once done by four men in five minutes. When running from end to end, the sixes had crossed the tap no less than three times. Returning from Flandav Fields, 222 had to be manhandled over Cowbridge Road so it could connect with the severed wires on Lower Cathedral Road. After yet another crossing of the TAF, the original 1942 loop at Hunter Street was used for the last time. Retained for emergencies and situated in the heart of Dockland, this wiring had been superseded when the 6 was extended to Pier Head in August 1947. Although use of the front exit had ceased about 1954, 222 was the only vehicle whose front door had not been panelled over 12 years later. For the historic crossing of Wood Street Bridge, all participants alighted so the driver could edge the empty trolley bus slowly over the weakened structure. Interestingly, the bridge would not be replaced for another couple of years. One of those on board 222 was the engineer and rolling stock superintendent Felix Canuda, who had come to Cardiff in 1945. Another of his many innovations was a less costly, lightweight, horizontal, swivelling trolley head, which reduced dewirements. Through bus service to Tiger Bay was restored when the northern sections of the 6 and 9 were replaced as from the 17th of April 1966. An outbound 6 turns west at Castle Street Junction. Problems outside the Angel Hotel. Activity at the busy junction of Cowbridge Road and Cathedral Road. The attractive loop at Flandau Fields in the days when the Sixes followed a U-shaped course through the city centre en route to Tiger Bay, a distance of some three and a half miles. The Six had also been the first route to open in 1942. The Five Mile Nine dated from 1951. Until the sudden closure of the Wood Street Bridge, it had started at Cabalva, crossed through the city before joining the Six for the run down to Pier Head. Cruis Road.
turning from City Road into Newport Road. As Landau Fields was now served by just one trolleybus route, it was decided to replace the four as and from the 18th of September 1966. This attractive turning circle had been built on private ground. Following the abandonment, the redundant wiring at the junction with Cowbridge Road would be swiftly removed. Linking two parks, Landav and Roth, the four and a half mile four was another of the cross town routes introduced in 1951. By the end of 1966, roughly half the trolleybus fleet would be gone. During its dying days, no less than five visiting trolleys toured the system. The first being one of a batch of 35-foot-long Leyland-built BUTs with front entrance Burlingham bodies delivered to Glasgow as late as 1958. Having operated in its home city for the last time in March 1967, it toured Cardiff on the 3rd of September. Owned by the British Trolleybus Society, TBS 21 would become the last ever single-deck trolleybus to operate on a public highway in Britain. To accommodate yet another one-way traffic scheme, the terminal arrangements for the Ely routes were reversed. Since their inauguration, the 10 A's and B's had looped by way of Park, Havelock and Westgate streets. However, as from the 26th of November 1967, they now came right down Westgate Street to turn towards a new loading point outside the Thompson newspaper offices on the west side of Havelock Street. same area other minor alterations were made to provide access to the one-way loop round the central bus station which was still needed for depot journeys. The 8 was killed off by roadworks as and from the 18th of February 1968. Over the years Newport Road had been gradually widened which had involved re-siting virtually every traction pole and re-stringing most of the overhead. Now as part of a major widening scheme Royal Oak Roundabout was set to disappear so rather than invest in new turning facilities the corporation opted to convert the 8 although the circle remained energised for occasional use until dismantled several months later. Reflecting high demand, especially during the 1950s, three routes had followed the trunk wiring linking the East End to Victoria Park. The 2A from Pengam, the 8 from Royal Oak and the 5 from Windsor Lane. The 273 turns off the new one-way wiring before dipping under the Queen Street bridges. The three and a half mile eight was the last purely cross-town trolleybus route. Here an eastbound vehicle passes the castle before turning onto the new link road which will take it past City Hall. Since 1948, trolleybuses had used existing islands at Victoria Park, 
but the turns were hampered by being made against the normal traffic flow. Next to go were routes one and three. These had also been the last pair of tram routes. Following an enthusiast tour on the 28th of April 1968, all wiring to and from Butte Monument and north of City Road Junction was abandoned. Leaving the depot. passing under the Queen Street railway bridges, which carried trains to and from the docks and Cardiff General. Turning from Queen Street onto the unidirectional wiring leading down to the monument. A new one-way traffic scheme in the monument area had hastened the demise of both routes. The one and the three were the last trolleybuses to load in St Mary Street. Castle Street Junction. <laughs> 